We are now going to look at reading on the iPad. So I'm going to click on iBooks here, which is Apple's very own built-in book reader application. Um, it looks like a uh, very cozy wooden bookshelf. I'm just going to go and pick the Odyssey. So in landscape view, it looks virtually like reading a, a real book. Um, the resolution of the screen really pops out at you. It looks great. And the once again, the multi-touch um, gestures really work well. And it makes you feel like you're actually reading a real book. So if you look over at the top left, you can click on the table of contents and you'll be back to the contents page. Then you can quickly click on the chap tap on the chapter and it'll take you there. And you could also tap on the bottom of the screen and there there will be a quick um, slide here that'll uh, take you to whatever page you want quickly. So I jumped to page 565 with just one slide of the finger. Or I could simply just uh, flick through the pages like a normal book. Um, another feature in the uh, iBook Reader is I can change the brightness of the screen to make it brighter. A little bit thin. I can also change the size of the font. I can make it bigger in case I'm having a hard time reading. But I'm comfortable with the uh, smaller font so I can just make it smaller. Aside from the size, I could also change the font itself. Um, there's about five choices. If you ask me, they all look the same, but at least uh, the option is there for those people who are bit finicky about the font they're, they're reading. So let's just stick back to the default font. Another thing I can do from the menu is um, search for any word in the book. So let's look for Polyphemus, the Cyclops. So right within the page, it will show you uh, the options of where you can go, where the word Polyphemus um, appears in. You click on it and you'll be taken to that page instantly. Okay, let's use the slide rule again. Jump to any random page. Um, now I'll show you how to bookmark with the iBooks. It's as easy as just um, tapping your finger on any word and you have the option to copy it. Uh, to search for the meaning in the dictionary, to search for it in um, throughout the entire book, just like I did with uh, Polyphemus earlier. Now let's try to bookmark it. So it's the easiest one tap, and that word, the word sirens, is now bookmarked. So all I have to do is go back to the table of contents and there's a tab that says bookmarks if I tap on that it'll show all the words that I've bookmarked so as you can see um, that entry of the, with the sirens that I just bookmarked a few seconds ago appears there the iBooks doesn't support annotations yet but it will in a future update so aside from the bookshelf view, I can choose a list view, but I'd rather not because of um, aesthetics purposes. If you run out of books to read, you can always go to the store, the iBook store. And um, with an internet connection, it'll basically take you to a page that looks a bit similar to the Apple App Store, where you can see all the selections books that you can download. Um, 
being an early adopter, I find that the iBooks store doesn't have a lot of choices. Definitely way uh, below the choices you can get on Kindle. But on the good side, most of them are free. So I'm now searching for a new book, Dracula. And bingo, uh, I was looking for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Here it is. And once again, it's free. Most of the uh, classics of literature can be found for free. And as soon as I click it, the book shows up on the bookshelf and it's downloading pretty quickly for a 3G connection. And I now have Bram Stoker's Dracula. I tap on it, the book opens, and jump right into the table of contents. So aside from reading books, we can also read magazines on the iPad. Um, there are a lot of choices available right now. There's Time Magazine, Popular Science, Wired. So I got this uh, free magazine just to demo it out. It's called How It Works Magazine. Again, on the uh, high resolution screen of the iPad, the um, images of the magazine just really pop out at you. The gloss and the resolution and the quality uh, just looks so good that you might as well be reading it on a um, real high quality printout. The fit is so natural, it's, it's like one of those things that you'd think how come nobody ever thought of doing it before. So I'm browsing through the magazine and it's uh, similar to the way you browse through the iBooks. At the bottom you can scroll through the pages on a quick uh, slide, slide uh, feature. Uh, you could also flip it over to portrait view. So it becomes one page at a time. And uh, again, the uh, touch gestures work really well, just like you're flipping the pages of a magazine. A nice experience overall. So aside from magazines and books, we could also read comics. So I downloaded the free Marvel Comics app from the Apple App Store and it opens another app store or should I say comic store um, exclusive to Marvel of course so there aren't a lot of free comics in the Marvel store I just downloaded Blade um, let me just uh, choose Blade here And again, it has uh, the full screen view, the resolution, once again, is just as good or maybe even better than um, reading real printed comic books. So Marvel, the Marvel app has a guided view, which basically takes you from panel to panel instead of page to page so you don't have spoilers at the bottom of the page. Um, if you don't like the Marvel Comics application, there are many other choices in the App Store. Um, so again, if you put it to full page view instead of the guided view, uh, you can just uh, flick through it as you would a, a normal comic book like so. So overall, the reading experience on the iPad, I would say, is uh, one of its best features and a compelling reason to get the iPad, if for nothing else, just to use it as a book, magazine, and comics reader.